Hello everybody, my name is Clint Heffern and this is my AEP 858 Module 1 introductory, uh, introductory video. So first off, a little bit about myself. Um, I am born and raised originally from Iola, Kansas, um, southeast part of Kansas, but um, born and raised in Iola, Kansas. It's where I went to high school and then that's actually where I went to my first uh, community college. I went to the JUCO. Um, which is known as Allen Community College. I played baseball and basketball there for two years um, before going on to Pittsburgh State University to finish my undergrad. Um, I got a history, government, uh, secondary education from Pitt State, um, and now I am attending Fort Hayes State University trying to get my master's. Uh, I would like to eventually one day become an administrator, move up into an administrative role. I really like being in a, in a leadership position. Um, I've got some experience with being a junior high and, and a high school assistant athletic director. Um, and I think that's something that I want to do later on in life um, and maybe even move into, an, uh, into a principal role. Um, my experience, my first job, I was at St. Mary's Colgan um, Catholic School in Pittsburgh, Kansas. That's a part of the Diocese of Wichita, even though it's in Southeast Kansas. I was a social studies and PE teacher there for three years. Like I said, uh, I also was a junior high athletic director and the assistant high school athletic director. Um, as well, I was an assistant football, basketball, and baseball coach and helped with summer weights. So, um, St. Mary's Colgan, that was my first job. Got a lot of experience there, met a lot of good people, and really thankful to have had that position. From there, last year was my first year at Fort Scott High School in Fort Scott, Kansas, USD 234. I was the social studies an advanced PE teacher, and then I was also a head, the head basketball coach. Um, so that's really the main reason I went to Fort Scott was I got the head basketball position. And that's, that's, that had been something that I'd been wanting to, to do, um, be a head coach, and um, really thankful for last year and the experience and the kids um, that I gained there. N next year, this upcoming year, I actually, actually will be moving um, to strictly PE and health and no social studies. So I'm excited about that. Um, some other stuff about me, uh, some new nieces here. My older brother recently has had two kids and um, they've been a lot of joy and, and a, just been a big big part of my family's life here these past couple years. So um, finding out what all that's about and really, really enjoying those little kids. Um, moving on to AEP 858. So data, kind of reflecting upon data and how I've used it with my experience in the last couple schools I've been at. Critical reflection on the process that your school, my school, or district uses to analyze and use data to inform instructional decisions. Uh, this is something that's been pretty new to me. Uh, when I was at Colgan, we talked a little bit about data, and it was definitely a part of meetings and stuff like that. Um, but this last year at Fort Scott, it's been a big emphasis. We actually have a curriculum and an instructional coach. We got These are two different people. Um, which again shows you that we've got people that are being that are experts on data and curriculum and instruction and they've really tried to coach us up on how to use data. Um, like I said, it's been a big emphasis this year. They've actually encouraged us all department teachers to have common assessments. So within our departments, our social studies department, um, if I was teaching world history and there was another teacher that was teaching world history, we were supposed to have common assessments. That way we could log and track and then reflect on um, data about okay where are we you know having some shortcomings where could we do better where could we improve um, and then also areas of hey they're the kids are getting this we're doing a good job here so one way that they have really pushed this to us is having common assessments within our departments um, and and that's supposed to be being built on um, throughout the next couple of years um, we've also had a lot of pd professional development time uh, to learn about data. So we've been, we've had a PD, I remember a specific PD this year that we had that was just on, um, you know, how to use data, what's the importance of it, uh, how it can be very difficult to, to maybe draw conclusions from. But we had a specific PD time to learn about uh, how to use data. And then as well, we also have a lot of, not a lot of, you know, there's never enough time, but we use department time when we have department meetings to discuss um, some of those common assessments, some of that common planning period, some of that stuff where we can kind of, you know, try to interpret the data amongst our department of where we can get better. Um, a big thing, though, is our curriculum and instructional coach have, have emphasized that 
you know, we're all still learning at this. We're trying to make a make a gradual emphasis on this um, because we know it can be very useful. Um, but we're, we're all still learning on this and it's a work in progress. Uh, my own personal knowledge on how to use data. Um, I understand the importance of it. I think I, I get that, that it can that it can really show us where we can help the kids, where we can all be better. Um, because some of that stuff, you know, I might think I'm doing a good job of covering this or this subject. Um, but, you know, maybe I, maybe that's a false interpretation for myself. So um, data uh, analytics, I think about this with coaching that can really show us where we can be better and how to do things more effectively. Um, you know, traditionally, I feel like I have done this informally. So I've just observed and been like, uh, oh, yeah, I can kind of understand I, I wasn't hitting that enough. And like I said, data can be more accurate, like I just mentioned. Uh, a plan that I propose to help improve uh, my current knowledge is I think that in my own, my specific role, if I had a pre and post assessments and kept those similar format, similar um, way about those, um, and they can change from year to year as, you know, times evolve. But if I give common pre and post assessments from year to year, um, I can, I feel like, get a good gauge from my students and getting getting their feedback and getting how they do on these pre and post assessments um, to really improve what I'm doing as a teacher. So that's something I want to, to try to interpret or try to include this next year is have a pre and a post assessment, no matter what I'm teaching, um, get my kids feedback and then learn and look at that um, information that I'm getting from them. So again, my name is Clint Heffern. Thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to working with you in AEP 858.